Hello! Monsters are here and welcome back to Total War Warhammer 3, number 6, my Malekith cat. Is everyone alright down there? Okay. Um, part 6 of my, <laughs> my Malekith campaign for supporters. And last time we had a poll. The poll was, sh should we sail to Ulthwan and beat the shit out of the High Elves? Or should we deal with our neighbours? Everybody needs good neighbours, with a little understanding. We'll purge the fuckers, which is exactly what we're going to do. Uh, first things you first. You stand before me to what do? Mm. Of course. Going to tell you to get wrecked. I'm going to do Katep as well, but I'm going to do him in a minute. Oh, well, do him in a minute. You're in a minute, mate. Oh, you're on the fucking list. Oh, you're going to be on the fucking list, mate. Right, Hagen Dars is going to defend that. Now, um, what I, now, Katniss, you do need a semi-better army, but to be honest, at the moment, you're kind of... I mean, it's not a great army, but it's definitely not the worst army I've got. Uh, Slave-wise, looking a little bit better. We've managed to halve the amount of slaves we've got. That's the efficiency saving there. Very nice. Uh, continuous improvement and all that kind of good stuff. So we'll pop Lord you the in Lord. there. Nagarond, we're of course going to go for the Dark Elf port. And maybe some marble? Hmm. So what, let's do, let's do this one. And then... Less, yeah, less slaves. Obviously, that makes people sad. Then we need a... Well, no, we don't need a happy building, do we? Because we can build... We can build this. Which then gives, like, lots of... Lots of control. Not because people are happy, but because I'm keeping an eye on them. Which is like happiness. But worse. It's basically a constant feeling of having your manager poke his head around the office door and going... Can I just have a word a second? Tyrant of no! No! What? What is it about? Tell me. Tell me. If, is it good or bad? Am I fired? Is that what you're telling me? Lord of the Black Court. Anyway, uh, so we're going to move. We're going to move Galvatron up here. Malekith is going to swing back up and sort. So we're basically going to. We're poised. We're going to be poising ourselves around Solostra because obviously we're going to. We have to. We have to wait a few turns before we can actively declare war. But um, when we can, we will. And then we'll squash her. Hello. Um, right. Right. Well, that has... That has pushed the time to... <sighs> <sighs> Fucking Hellebron. Fucking... Well, I mean, technically, technically, it's what I wanted, but... Have, I, have you ruined my rep? I think my reputation should be fine because because they're they're saying you need to declare war with me. And all right, let's check. Nope, we're fine. Okay, we managed to we managed to end up at war with Katep, even though we didn't want to be. Hello, sisters of twilight. All right, we're not going to worry about you. Uh, we're going to right. We'll take out Clark Rond, I guess, seeing as it's here. May as well. We'll have that one. Thank you very much. Uh, I will loot and occupy. I will loot and occupy. Okay. Well, I mean, this this is, a, you know, Limitless power. ahead of ahead of schedule. But never mind. Ah, uh, Dracala Spire, you are going to be in a lot of trouble. I need someone there to stop that. So we're going to get um you. Pray for mercy from Puss in Boots. Taking control with your boots. These boots are made for walking. Uh, will we? Are we? Will we will. Well, we'll, we'll have a settlement battle, won't we? I am going to recruit as many of those as possible, and if need be, some of you guys. In the meantime, burning head because there's nothing more skeletons hate. Than burning heads, probably. I don't. I don't have that on authority. I'm just guessing. It's a pure, pure conjecture. 
You are go. Mm, right, we could build. Right, how how happy are? You? Well, you're not. You're not unhappy. You're not happy, but you're not unhappy. Well, you are unhappy, but I don't really care. Um, and we could build the happy. Do we build the happy build? We'll build the happy building just to try and keep them fucking fucking happy because it's so so fucking sad. Noble born. Ugh. It's kind of exhausting how fucking sad they are all the time. Jesus, dark elves are so ups. They're never happy. Come on, guys. Look, worst things happen at sea. I mean, yes, you border the chaos waste. Yes, you were kicked out of your homes. And yes, you've turned into a horde of absolute murderous assholes. But I'm just, I'm just, look, I'm just, don't shoot the messenger. I approve of these dark deeds. Thank you. Okay, so we are go now. Hmm, I need, I need, kind of need to cut through Solostra's territory, which is going to piss her off something chronic. But it's got to be done. Dark seal. It's gotta be done. Malekith, you need to level up. We're gonna pop. Ooh, what should we get? We could give you absolute power. It's not very good though. It's not it's not great. It's not great. Mm, for conf Ooh, hang on. No. Well, hmm. Uh, mm. What level are you? 31. Alright, you've still got a way to go. Um I could give you blade. You know what? We'll give you blade wind. You, you are ticked, aren't you? You could be hard to hit. To be honest, I could just tick you because I think you're one of those characters that probably has more skills and skill points. So that's probably fine. Uh, we will get the extra growth. Is there anywhere we don't need the growth? So we've already got the income coming in there. Uh, you as well. I'm actually... Oh, Jesus, I'm, I'm ahead of myself here. I'm forward thinking. Do we have any quest battles to do? Because that's something I always forget. Yes, we do. We can get the Destroyer, which is fine. Um, and the Supreme Spell Shield. We should probably do that as well, shouldn't we? Mm. That's something we should probably do. Yeah, okay. Okay, that's something we'll aim for. We'll do the quest battle. I think we've got some time. Because obviously Katet wasn't expecting to be at war with us. This is kind of... Hits him a little bit from nowhere. Bastard Ruki. I don't know if sending you over is a good idea. You might suddenly, like, all of the High Elves might suddenly lose their fucking little minds and just, like, sail across to attack me. And then poor Hagen Dars is going to have a hell of a time. Oh, he's going to have a mare, he's going to have a mare. He he's going to have a mare. Trust me on this. Master Druki. Oh, what's wrong with you? Also, your desire? that's not your name. That's not my name. That's not my name. Call me Tracy. Get me. Okay, we're gonna. Right, what, how sad are you? Four out of ten. I mean, that's not. Too, I could put Galvatron in your army. That would make you. That would make you think more about what you're up to, wouldn't it? Are the you? What, oh, you are at war with Solostra. Oh, fuck. That's really quite annoying. Raiding. Okay, do some raiding. It's not. It's not necessarily the best option, but it's, it's what we got. It's what we got. I don't know where your armies are. You own all this. You're not at war with the, the sisters. <sighs> I feel like this is gonna. I feel like this is gonna be a problem. We need defences here. I just, I just have this sneaking suspicion that it's gonna go tits up. While I'm busy dealing with Katep. Oh, I don't want to go. Oh, fucking Solostra, she's the worst. Black-hearted dreadlord. She's spreading all the horrible vampire cooties all up in my shit. She's the worst place to have it. Noble born. Yeah, okay. With Do you want to... That's it. You'll wander over here. See what's going on, eh? So maybe we could go and find Mummy. Go find... Maybe we could... Yeah, if we wander over down the coast, maybe we can go and find Mummy. See what Mummy's up to. See if Mummy's okay. I'm hoping that Ostankia is super fucking dead. Puss in Boots is loyal again. We've got an imminent rebellion. Where? Oh, right. Yeah, okay. Okay. We'll do that. Tell you what. 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 Let's pop. Let's pop that there. What the fuck are you doing here? 
What the fuck? Okay, we can kind of see what's going on over here a little bit. So far, nothing, which makes me very fucking suspicious. Makes me very fucking suspicious. Hello, mummy. Glad you've got unicorn gate. And you're spreading your cuties. You do like Yes. That. What do you bring before the hag sorceress? Mummy? You want 8k for a trade agreement? Jesus Christ, mummy. Gee, what the f... What happened? Christ in a... I guess, I guess motherly love stands for nothing anymore. Absolutely disastrous. Right, I'm going to march down here. This is potentially a terrible choice. Uh, but we're probably fine. As long as they don't have fucking Scarab Swarm. Fuck! Fuck! Fuck, they always fucking have Toon Swarm! Why the fuck do they have Toon Swarm all the fucking time? Every time! Tell me about it. Fucking god, fucking son of a... Anyway. That's fine. That's fine. Do we have... Hang on. No, we can't do that yet. Right, so we're going to upgrade the dock. I'm get, We want growth here because the sooner we, we grow Caron Car, the better. You don't like me. Holy shit, Albion's going off their... M they, they're losing their fucking tiny little minds. Oh my god, they've invaded Norska. What the shit? What the shit? That's not what should be happening, is it? What the... Oh no! <laughs> uh, Puss in Boots, you just stay there. You just... Just stay. Thank you. We, we can definitely get slaves from Tomb Kings, but I'm not entirely sure how that would work, being that they would be skeletons, and also they just... Because obviously Necrons are basically Tomb Kings, and it's suggested that the, the basic Tomb King soldiery don't really have any will of their own, they just do what they're told by the bosses. So, like, they're not going to be particularly worried about, like, dying, or because they're skeletons, or, you know, any of that shit. So, like, how would you actually, con you know, coerce them into doing, you know, washing your socks or something? It'd be not an impossible. Um... Interesting. In... I've never... I, you know what? I very... This has happened once or twice, but technically I think it's because it's a black arc. Even though it's in the settlement, they think it's a black arc so they can attack it at sea, but they don't... But uh, no, it doesn't matter. Anyway, like, I'm sure... Yeah, whatever. I mean, you would think, wouldn't you? You would think that the Black Ark army would start inside the settlement, but no. Nah. No. It's, it, it's going to come in from over here for some reason. I don't... I don't fucking know why. Let's see. The, the re when it comes to settlement battles, the reinforcement direction is basically... You may, you may as well just put a dartboard up with some random directions and just start throwing darts in it. That'll give you the basic... I mean, this is, this is kind of the problem in that a lot of the maps now, you just... Is it going to be a choke point? Who the fuck knows? Who's going to come in as reinforcements? I don't fucking know. Fucking... <laughs> anyway, so the Black Ark is... I mean, I guess the Black Ark is literally the size of the city. I mean, if you look, if you fight on the Black Ark, it literally like... Holy shit, that's a big sale. So... I guess it would, it would basically be the size of a city. And I'm guessing that... Potentially they might find it hard to get it through... The little little chunky choke point there potentially. So I'm guessing maybe that's the reason. But um anywho. So we're gonna have to defend the city with a little garrison waiting for our reinforcements to show up. Now here they come. So we're gonna we're gonna bring the boys in. Did that actually manage to take out the uh, Nope, didn't I, actually, I cast it directly on top of a Reaper Bolt thrower, it did nothing. The I, I wish the bombardments were a little bit more killy against like large entities because large entities do seem to be basically unkillable for like single shot things but at the same time very easy to they, they, like the mass mass multiple shots can kill them really easily 
single shots which are like, yes, this is anti-large, does basically nothing. Which is really weird. Anyway, we're getting doom bolted to shit. And we are getting some lovely little bombardments there, trying to take out some of those black guards. It's like crossbow. I could have built some towers in here, but I basically just couldn't be bothered because uh, they're basically garbage. I mean, I guess if people were annoyed about the towers, at least now they're so trash that they're barely worth doing, so that's good. Is that a fix? I don't know if that's a fix. The Sisters of the Singing Doom. Slicing and dicing some uh, Blackheart Corsairs there. High grade screeching. In come the Shades as well to rain fire down on the Blackheart Corsairs. They actually have got a lot of. I got 80 armor, which is actually. Quite a lot. Doomfire Warlocks coming in on the flanks. Fortunately, of course, our shades are pretty good in melee combat, which means these guys, although quite nasty, um, will not do particularly well against them, all in all. And uh, with a little bit of uh, missile fire, we'll be able to drive them off. Meanwhile, in the city, we're actually doing fairly well here, managing to hold our own. We've managed to break break open a section of the wall, but with the Black Hawk Bombardment doing some nasty damage against those Black Guards. They have no defence against that, but we do have a Spiky Hydra who's rampaged into the city, bringing spearmen all over the place. So we're going to pull back our Dark Shards, concentrate our fire and bring down that Spiky Hydra, and uh, he will be dead before you know it. Meanwhile, the, the, the Bolt Throwers in the trees is an interesting choice. Obviously, that means they're going to have to thread the needle through all the trunks to be able to uh, to get out. However, with our reinforcements arriving behind them and their inability to push forward into the city, despite outnumbering us, it does look like the enemy army is going to decide to retreat. As I decide to try a little lightning attack on the spiky hydra, yep, that did basically nothing. It was barely worth the effort. Considering that you can, you know, annihilate infantry units with that. A direct hit. Which, you know, on a single entity should be quite tricky. You're not pinning him in place. But, you know, there we go. Well, that was a weird fight. Very weird. Never mind. Also, the black art can't. Are you gonna like attack my settlements now that you're on? Have you, have you suddenly realised you've got legs? Never. <laughs> I feel like I'm in dangerous territory here. Dreadlord of like, wait, 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 wait. I'm on land. Supreme what the fuck? Anyone home? Really? Where the fuck have they all gone? My only concern is they might be marching up this way. Who are you, who are you, you at war with? Are no useful end. You are at war with Marathi. You've got nine sets of what? Wait, hang on. One, two, three, four, five. So, uh, so you could be coming down here. You might be down here somewhere, which actually be the, the, the best. That would be the best timeline. Um, the worst timeline is one where the Sisters of Twilight decide to declare war on me, and I don't have anyone up here to deal with them. Uh, I'll worry about that in a second. Also, do you like me? Halibron, can you maybe just not declare war on these guys? Well, this is simply marvellous. More playthings to talk to. I mean, I wouldn't mind, like, a defensive alliance or something. That would be pretty... pretty chill, wouldn't it? Hmm? Hmm. You alright? Uh, do we want... Do we want torture posts? That's the question you always have to ask yourself. Uh, all right, we'll build that one. And... I might save the growth? God, you are so sad. I might have to build that, because you're so cranky. Everyone's so cranky. I'm, like, building the happy building, and no one's... There's everyone so... Just still so shitty. It's just the grumpiest crew. Lord of the Black Court. Okay, build an enormous black arc, and I'm short-sighted. 
nervous about you. Nervous about you. Holy shit, mummy. What are you doing? You're off the fucking off the fucking chain. Look at you go. Taking Arnheim. It's got all it's all veiny. I forgot to move Katniss. That might not be the worst thing though, because I might need her in this general vicinity. So if we move no nonsense, no no whipper and Malekith to sort of like take this out and then head south. Admittedly, I don't really want the desert. Hello, mummy. Non-aggression pact. Yes, please. Although I know you. You like the pain, don't you? Okay, let's take the spire. I mean, Christ, people are going to be so shitty here. Luton Occupy. Never going to be able to tax the cello. I forbid this. Where the crap did you come from? What? Hang on. Do not betray your king. Wait. My faith in you wanes. We. <laughs> oh no, you've gone. You've gone back into the sea. You're like, I didn't like that. Attack. On land with legs. Oh, it ain't natural. It ain't natural. Death and carnage wait. Let's just bop you. There we go. Not many, but you know, I'll take it. I'll take the boost. Um, is there anything for control? Exploit feuds consumed by rivalry. Plus one control. You know what? I'll take it. Lord knows I need it. How much growth do we need? If I wait for eight turns. If I, build, if I upgrade this one and this one, and then wait for eight turns. Maybe less. Then we'll have a little bit more. So, I'm in, I'm in for that. Black hearted dreadlord. I'm in for that. Uh, Such slaughter awaits. Is there anywhere I won't Striking take a, I won't take attrition here, and I'll get a I'll get more winds of magic, and you won't be able to reach me, and I can send Malekith to go and bop you. I'm going to knock this down. This is going to. I don't really want this. I might give it to someone else. If I can, maybe if I can like vassalize someone. I don't know who I could though. Can I? If I could subjugate someone, can I subjugate that you? Not polar. No. No, no. What about what about what about elves? Hang on. No, no. That's that. No, that's my settlement, not theirs. Your threat must be ended. No, In I could Ariel's military name. alliance them. Do you? Are you getting on with mummy? No, not really. That's a shame. I could give you settlements and then you'd maybe leave me alone. We could be friends. We could be friends. The fuck? This is re hang on. This is replenishment. Holy shit, enables replenishment in foreign territory. I never knew that did that. What? My is that new? What now? Never realized. Um you get chief master. Because I'm gonna be honest, making making Oh wait, no, that's the wrong one. Oh, never mind. Yes. <sighs> never mind. It's not the end of the world. Oh, when isn't there? Everyone's just shitty as balls. When, if I, right, if I save more money, I can build that. That'll increase control across the board. Everyone will be a bit, little bit less shitty. Makes my life easier. Christ on a bike. Okay, Katniss, just chill here for a sec, all right? No, I'm going to save my pennies. I'm going to save, going to save the pennies. I'm going to build a lovely big black tower. One might suggest it's a bit, it's a bit phallic. You'd be right. It's entirely based off Malachus' penis, which is why it's so spiky. Good old Katniss with a degenerate kettle drummer. Shouldn't shaden fraud. Shouldn't good. Um, who's that? Hotex column. So everyone in Hotex Column is just going to be a little bit more chill. That's nice. Okay, well let's concentrate on the important things and build a lovely black tower. Lord of Fear. Good stuff. You 
I'm not a, not a fan of. Am I going to take a tr oh, I'll to go this way. Spreading misery. Spreading the news. <laughs> I'm leaving Dragon. today. Let's go that way, because to be honest, if you're going to fight someone, I'd much prefer you to fight Malekith. Chosen of Moving. I'm going to move you this way. You pull Feared back. I mean, to be honest, the army's not horrendous, but Lord you do the they do have artillery. I mean, I could, if I put, like, the Chill of Sontar and the Siren of Red Ruin in there, they'd probably be good enough to take them. Sorceress of the Dark it's, it's options. Oh, we've got seven turns, but that's not including these buildings being finished, which should boost it. We could also potentially do a little bit of extra growth. Takes down to five turns. Upgrade that. Then we can get the lovely, whichever building it is. There we go, the Slave Traders Palace. That's going to give us 100 slaves a turn. Ooh, spicy. Deadly. Spicy. I have much to show. Well, please don't send unsolicited spiky dick pics. Marathi. That's a lot of Hydra. That's a lot of head you have, Marathi, there. Power. You've actually got some Chaos Warriors of Slanesh. Holy shit. Is that guy still alive? You're crapping me. Where is he? I can't see any Slanesh corruption. Is he still alive? I have to go Delicious looking for him. Because if he's friends with Mummy, I bet he's going to be friends with me. Uh, I could build the the Dreadmance. That, that, oh, it used to give control. It doesn't anymore. Well, that's bullshit. Oh, wait, no, it wouldn't because it's the Black Ark one, isn't it? And the Black Ark doesn't have control. The are restless. <sighs> Which is why. Can I assault units? Go for it, Galvatron. I failed, Galvatron. You failed. Rubbish. You can just stay there for a minute. Problem is, if we have any sieges against Twisted Clade, I'm probably going to have to just auto resolve it because the Black Ark doesn't appear in the Which is weird because it's stationed in the city. I don't know why they're coming out. Why is it? Some maps, you look at them and you go, well, there's definitely no way in hell that... Hello. Katep is is trying to solo a settlement and is has failed. That is fascinating. How weird. Anyway. Um, there's some maps where the, the army is the other side of the city and they decide to come in inside the city, which is bullshit. And then there's times like that where you go, why are they... Why does it never make sense? Hello? Military access... Oh, because they're dead. Because they died. Right. I'm not... I'm going to be honest. I'm not going to lose that much sleep over it. Right, you've gone and hid. I'm not overly concerned about that. However, it is going to be... I approve of these dark deeds. A little bit rough. What I might do... If you could go... Okay, if you could go there... Where can you get to? Of okay, if you go there... And you go, like, here... Very well. you will Are you in range to... King of the no. Okay, I'm just going to have to... I know my We're just going to have to link up. I'm not too worried about that one. We just... I'm just looking at the amount of artillery there and how obnoxious it will be to fight. That's my concern. What do you seek? Uh, also, we can have a look. How long is this? Uh, it's going to be four turns, which is basically the same before we build this. Never mind. Uh, we'll upgrade that one anyway, because the sooner we grow, the sooner we can upgrade to the Dark Elf port and get even more lovely, delicious slaves. Slaves may or may not be delicious. Taste your slave before making the choice. Just don't suck them too hard, otherwise you'll reach the centre. The gooey, gooey centre. Uh, where are you? I was going to try and... Hello. What test? Oh, of course. I was like, what the fuck is Cathay doing here? But then, of course, there's... Uh, meow, they're not... Uh, Bo... What? Oh, whatever the fuck that guy's name is. I forget. 
It's not important. Okay, let's see if we can find old uh, Nakari. See if he's around here somewhere, and then we can link up with him. But the fact that Mummy is like just penetrated into the donut there is is good news. I just need to get my shits together here. You're back, Kitta. You, you can't. He's a he's a mum. He doesn't. They don't, they don't, he's quite desiccated. It's the main issue. Now, my, what I want to know is: Are the are the Tomb Kings going to defend their city, or are they going to book it? Because my suspicion is: Oh no, Karma Chameleon! You were wounded. No, they've booked it. They've literally just booked it in all directions. Look at this. Look at them go. Just like they just fucking leg it. I forbid this. <laughs> it's so weird. It's raiding season. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Uh okay, I guess we'll take this then. Galvatron. Kill. Oh, um so what, hold on to that for a sec. Galvatron, kill. Oh, come on, Galvatron. Come on, honey. What? Come on. I admire your darkness. It's not that hard. Boop. It's loot and occupy. Then we we hop out of the city, so they can't do their nasty trick of laying siege to the city and then attacking with an army. Uh uh uh. They're gonna have to fight me. I can't believe they shanked what's his face? His name I can't remember. You will be remembered, or at least you would be, if I could remember your name, but I can't. What the fuck was his name? Karma Chameleon. Yeah, there we go. Dreadlord of the Drupal. I imagine Malak is definitely one of those bosses where they, they send round the, you know, sorry you were stabbed by a mummy card, and he just, like, says, all the best, Malakith, because he can't remember who the fuck it is, and doesn't really care. Probably puts in, like, you know, a fiver, because it's the... The lowest nominate domination. Nom nomination? Domin whatever that one is. Like he can't get away with like sellotaping coins, so he just has to go with the old with the old fiver. Which is fair play. I can't believe that the sisters aren't doing better here, because to be honest, I don't think Solostra's doing is, is that good, but, you know, there we go. There we go. Uh, anyone else? No, not you. Katniss, I'm... T you know what, Katniss, I'm going to send you in, because to be honest, the, our, our current... Our current um, progress is, is piss poor. I'm not going to lie. Absolutely piss poor. My lord. Come over here. I want to see if Nakari is still alive, or if he's dead. And if he's alive, we're gonna we're gonna say hello. Your time with me is precious, so Tell make known it. immediately. Give me some money, mummy. Settlement besieged. Wait, which one? Oh, that one. I don't care. But to be honest, why? Hang on. It's like, there's, hang on, how many people, right, there's 11 to 22, that's 54, so it, it feels like there's less than 100 people in the settlement, and you've got an, uh, in fact, you've got reinforcements, you've got army, you've got two armies here, why the fuck are you laying siege, what are you waiting for? What the f- What? What? What do- What do we do? I'd- I'm gonna take a little bit of attrition, but to be honest, it's barely anything. Galvatron! Sick him! You got this, Galvatron! Sorry. 
Madam, I do not want to see your cauldron. The fact that you call it your cauldron itself is a red flag. Okay, we're going to upgrade you. And with any luck, in two turns, we can upgrade to you. But the important thing is that here we can change this to this. Dreadlord of Nagaroth. And in three to, uh, can I rush this? 450? I don't really think that's... I don't really think... It's, it's just hard to... You know, I just want to... I want to... I want to... I want a fair fight, guys. I want, like, you know, either one-on-one, one, two-on-two. I don't want this one-on-two business. It feels like a bit of a... You know, because it's a bit of a third wheel, doesn't it? You know, you're all ready for a good battle, and then your friend turns up, and it's like, oh... It's, is he staying? Is he is? Yeah? Okay. And, you know, it all goes to pot then, doesn't it? Or to cauldron. Okay. Weird. Weird that you waited, to be honest. Just an odd, odd decision. I swear the AI in this game is getting worse. It makes some fucking bizarre choices. Like, particularly... Particularly since, since the last DLC. It just makes some absolutely fucking insane decisions. Lord of the Black Court. I mean, you, you literally just sacked it and then did nothing yes, else. I go. Why? I'm going. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Let's face. see if we can... No, come here. Galvatron. Galvatron, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Galvatron, we're, we're gonna have to have a chat, aren't we? We're gonna have to have a chat. Okay, so if I can just, like, push them south. These guys, they don't care for them. You actually quite like them, because our military actions. Because they're military actions. I'm not gonna worry about you. You, I'm just waiting for one more turn, and then we can upgrade, which is good. This is two turns away. That's only 300 slaves. Still, that seems like quite a lot of slaves for for that. Uh, we really need to get some sacking in. I'm, Feel my power. I'm, I'm, I'm struggling here. Uh, we might, if we can, like, kick the, if we declare war on the sisters, if we can push you south and declare war on the sisters, like, try and mop them up a little bit. The only problem is that I need Venom Glade to be slightly because if, if they come this way and they they probably will then i'm going to basically it needs to be a decapitating strike on the sisters i think you need to like hit them and just fucking annihilate them as quickly as possible okay what's going on over here is no so nakari is definitely oh oh i stand corrected nakari what the, the fuck are you doing over there and death for example you absolute lunatic I've never seen Nakari leave Ulf one, but it's, it's nice to see him going places, I guess. Normally, he either does really, really well or dies immediately. There's no in-between. Hello? Hello? You, you fell for the ambush, did you? That is unfortunate. I fear no one! I swear, some of the ambush maps in Warhammer 2 are so garbage. This being one of them. I mean, one, you don't start anywhere near the enemy army, giving them plenty of time to reposition themselves. What's the fucking point in that? And two, they got fucking tree cover. Got a better position than I do. Anyway, we managed to drop a flame thingy on them. They're trying to flank us, but I think we're probably fine. Uh, we do have a war sphinx to deal with, though. If I just concentrate the shades to bring it down, and ideally don't shred my own shades with my reaper bolt thrower, that would be ideal. Uh, which seems like what we're doing, which is fine, never mind. Uh, the Shade's trying to bring down the support for Stalkers. We do have that nasty... How much missile damage do we have? Like, 40? It's not bad. It's not bad. Respectable. That War Sphinx is an absolute line break. It just rampages. We need to really bring it down. Meanwhile, the Black Guard holding the line. That's the Tomb Guard. Should be fine. 
We've got the, the Doomfire Warlocks attacking in the rear there. And the Super Sexy Snake Lady is going to unleash hell. Oh, I love that laser. She's just going to... She's got... like it, The nice thing is, like they're really quick. And you can do some flanking. Look at that. Look at that. Getting some lovely laser shots in there. Just absolutely annihilating the enemy infantry. Malachis managed to kill the enemy general. The Kemerian War Sphinx is down, which frees up our shades to unleash hell on anything nearby. I'll be honest, the, the main fight is probably over here now. If Malachith drops a flame breath, and then we drop a burning head. And the stupid sexy snake lady gets around the flanky, but she's got 100 kills so far, which is actually very, very respectable. Burning head carves its way through the enemy, and they begin to disintegrate. For the most part, anyway. We're getting there. It's happening. Reinforcements arriving. Better late than never, guys. Sorry, mate, but I wanted a fair fight. You didn't want to give it to me. So I decided to ambush you instead. Thanks for the workers. Not sure if that works, but thanks anyway. Very kind of you. Okay. I want... Okay, what if... Actions speak louder than words. I just didn't see if we could confederate you, and then maybe you wouldn't be such a massive pain in my ass. However, Dreadlord of Nagaroth. Lord of the it is not to be. So, we're going to go with... I don't want to go Blaze Shield, I want to go Slaughter Lord. I kind of want to go Slaughter Lord. I want to go Slaughter Lord. I feel like Sheaf Master was a waste, but... But there we go. Oh, you're ticked, aren't you? So I don't need to worry about you. Lord of the Black Court. You guys, on the other hand, uh, oh, you can have improves the Lord's army always. Barb Storm, lovely, or Wrathbringer, garbage. Okay, you're gonna be Barb from now on. Shoot them all. More range, more missile strength. Just, just generally good. Get your martial name of power, and you can do that one. Soul Blaze, so you get more armor, flaming attacks, fire resistance, or Hydra Blood. Oh, drink it. Yeah. But you're tripping balls. Absolutely tripping balls on Hydra Blood. Black -hearted Dreadlord. Can we? Oh. Obviously, we do that. We always do that. There's no reason not to have a black heart. It's just the Fear right choice. Uh, dreaded Slaver. Then we're gonna Murderous Lord. upgrade you. Uh, we can. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's do that one. There we go. Okay, let's get let's get on with this, shall we? Right, you are gonna move up. I go. And then we're going to attack Katep. We're going to attack. We're going to attack Katep. I think. See who we can we can draw into this. This is going to be a big old rock. I think this is going to be a big. Well, we didn't catch the other army, but this is fine. It says Pyrrhic victory. Oh, where the fuck is? Where the fuck are you? No, don't trade with him, you dozy prick. Finding my way. Good. Oh, now you can't reach your dozy git. Oh, for fuck's sake, you're useless. For fuck's sake. Jeez. Oh, right, okay. That's right. Go. What? Why? Why? Okay, I kind of understand why cities have, like, an aura thing. Like a... No, but if you're at war, I feel like if you move into range of one of them, that should be like, that should give the opponent the opportunity to attack. That should be like, here, you're trying to get past me? Well, not without paying the piper, my, my luddy. 
Never mind. You attack me, I can take you all on. Fuck it. I'll kill you all. Fuck it. God, God fucking damn it. God fucking no nose. God damn fucking Black. knobhead. No nose knobhead. Right, have we finished? Uh, how many? 150. No, I, I need some more. I need some more lads. Just, okay, just come and attack me, okay? Throw everything you've got at me. Come on, bring it. Bring it, nerds. You want some? Come get some. How's it looking over here? You know what? They're not looking... They're not looking too bad. Have you got any quick deals? Eh. Uh, well. Hmm. Oh, God. Am I... Hang on. Hang on. Look, I'm... Look. 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 The petty concerns of your existence are far beneath me. But Who I will listen. Why? You, you've got Albion all around you. Have you considered fighting the good guys rather than just kicking the shit out of the bad guys? <sighs> Come on, Galvatron. And an imminent rebel. Well, you know what? You know what? I don't actually give a shit. Rebel. Go on. Do it. See how I... See if I care. That could actually be very inconvenient, but that's fine. Okay. It says Valiant Defeat because it does not understand my power. But it will. Uh, you can cause fear. Okay, so I am I am corner camping a little bit, but that's mostly because I can't be asked to deal with like massive spread out lines. Because if you if you if I, if I took a battle in the open, what they would do is they'd just mask and make a massive line, try and flank around me, and frankly, it would just be annoying. So I, I just refuse to to deal with that bullshit. I'm too old for that shit. So we're gonna send in Hagreen. He's going to try and get... Oh, there we go. A lovely little burning pillar which manages to carve its way through several units of infantry. Very nice. So two, how many kills you got? 191? That's very respectable. Over 1,000... Uh, 1,400 damage dealt as gold already. Very nice. We've got a lot of chariots, a lot of fast-moving units. We've got a very tanky front line. We've got two layers of crossbows. I think we should be fine. Tell you what, I'm semi-tempted to, like, cast a burning head on this just to see what happens, but I managed to stop myself. That is willpower. Now, of course, they've still got a buttload of reinforcements to enter the fight. Can't really tell how many. Let's have a look. Uh, that's not too many. There's literally so basically, like, another army. They're throwing about three stacks at me here. But so far, we actually outnumber them, mostly because this army is probably stacked full of chariots. Chariots are not a Tomb King unit I rate particularly highly. Uh, they tend to tend to not do very much damage, tend to disintegrate quite quickly. Not yeah, if, if you're playing Tomb Kings, you're probably relying on the Constructs. They're pretty much the Tomb Guard and Constructs and Archers, if you're feeling so inclined. But mostly, mostly the Constructs. Um, I'd probably say just, yeah, just go with the Constructs. It's just the easier option. So, so far they've got three enemy, uh, three enemy, three, three generals on the battlefield. I think there's like another one coming, but I could be wrong. Is there another general? Oh shit, is that like literally another general? That's weird that they, oh, probably because they turned up slightly later than these guys. So the general hasn't, that, that entire stack has yet to come onto the battlefield. So they've got four generals. So there's four armies here arrayed against us. No problem. We just need to kill four armies. Easy peasy. Let's get to see, we kind of got, uh, sort of our limits there. As soon as they come in range, we'll open fire with all crossbows. 28 damage there. 43 on the shades. It's 
pretty respectable. Katep, of course, doing the old the old disco DJ thingy-majig, but taking pot shots at Hagreen for some reason. Not entirely sure why. That the artillery fire is not really very good against against single characters, but sure. Sure, why not? Why not? You want to get into range just a little bit? Just right on the periphery. There we go. Just come a little bit closer. That's it. Wee bit closer. Wee bit closer. Now Green going on with another flame pillar. She's doing huge amounts of damage, which is fantastic. Meanwhile, here come the Decropolis Knights moving into range and getting fairly, yep, yeah, absolutely shredded almost instantly and die before they even reach our lines. Meanwhile, the War Sphinx is incoming. Hold the line! Hold the line! They did not hold the line. They did not hold it. And oh, what the fuck are we being hit by? Is that like, is that his curse? Yeah, they hit, they hit us with a curse. Bastard. How much damage is he doing? Can I actually see before he dies? Okay. Oof. Yeah, that was quite a lot of damage. Never mind. He's going down. Malekith has got him. Malekith is good. Come on, Malekith. Get Come on. Chop, chop. Chop, chop. Chop, chop. You got this. Meanwhile, no non no nonsense. No nose. Whipper is, is taking on King I Oshas. Which is maybe ironic, considering they're both named after body parts. On the face as well. Meanwhile, we need to take out Katep. However, as Malekith passes by, he's going to drop some spells on their heads to make sure their archers are taken out of commission. Meanwhile, I, I should have actually told my missile units to target certain units, because sometimes they just they can't be asked. However, we do have some Ushabti being spawned right into the midst of my Dark Shards, which is problematic, but we're trying to kill them off first. Malekith going for Katep there, backed up by the Crows at Kane. He should be fine. No problem. Meanwhile, using magic to destroy as many of the undead as possible. Bit of a punch into the lines by some Ushabti and a Tomb Scorpion. Looks like No Nonsense No Nose Whipper is actually doing fairly well. I didn't really think he'd do okay. I, th I thought he'd need help, but actually he seems to be doing fine there, but then there it is a chariot. Murderous prowess. Allowing us to lay into the enemy. As you can see, they've now brought 3,300 onto the battlefield. There's a little Bernie pillar. I was a little bit concerned about casting it there because I was like, mm, that could that could go very badly wrong. It's dicey. It's very dicey, but I went for it. There's a burning head. This again, pretty risky. However, absolutely skirts the line. Look at that. Just annihilates the Tomb King infantry. Does barely any damage to us. Uh, that was that was pretty good. Meanwhile, Malekith is trying to kill off... Oh, I think he's managed to kill off Katep, actually. I believe Katep has been killed. Is he around here somewhere? Dead? I mean, he probably is. Is that him there? It's a chariot, isn't it? Oh, no, 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 there he is. There he is, lying face down the sand. There we go. He's not, he wasn't hard to kill, to be honest. He's, he's definitely more of an artillery unit. And uh, now he's dead. Well, I mean, he was dead before, but you know what I mean. You see swarms of enemies just charging onto the battlefield, but they've got a long way to go to reach us. A lot of Tomb King bodies littering the sands. There's another flame pillar. Again, taking my life into my own hands. Where is Hagreen? There she is. She's got 938 kills. 6,400 damage dealt as well. That is very impressive. Tell me about it. They're working 9 to 5. What a way to make a living. 
However, getting shit done. Meanwhile, no nonsense, no nose whipper is, is struggling a little bit, but the skeleton chariots are being taken out, and we also got the chiller somtar there. 29 kills, not super impressive, but he has kept a bunch of guys busy, and uh, you can't say fairer than that. Malekith killing off the last enemy general. At this point, I was like, ah, he's probably just going to die of sadness. And indeed, he is. He'll just drop dead of his own accord. So I'm trying to get Malekith out of this because he's currently surrounded by people taking pot shots at him, which is not necessarily the best, best thing. So we're going to try and pull him out of combat, get him back to our, our little army here. We now massively... I mean, they, they brought 4,200 guys. There we go, died of sadness, to the fight. That's right, and here come another horde of chariots. Unfortunately for them, now completely unsupported, it's not going so well. This guy's like only got 19 kills. It's not great. 40 kills, not bad. It's not bad. I mean, I guess I can't really massively complain. Malachis managed to get away. Meanwhile, the Crows of Cain... Swooping over these mountains here. They're going to try and take out the enemy artillery. Just solo. I mean, I'm not super worried if I lose them. If they die, that's a sacrifice I'm willing for them to make. So we just basically need to just lure the enemy army into range of our crossbows. And uh, I think that's probably going to be a win. There's not very many of them left. There is a bit of a blob of infantry incoming. But to be honest, the most of the strength they have is going to be in these Ushabti and these chariots. So once you bring them low... As they slowly feed themselves into our crossbow crossfire. I might need to move forward a little bit to take them, but I mean, you got these, you got these Ushabti here. They're gonna have to, they're gonna have to advance, aren't they? Look at that, so just walking into, into range. How's this going? Oh, ow! No, that's, that's extreme acupuncture for them. Down they go, and the enemy army starts to crumble away. Toodle! Ooh, that's a nice big chunk of, of indentured workers, interns, isn't it? Hmm, lovely. I'll take all of that, thank you. Have to, have to do something about that, but not so great. Hierophant, immune to desert and sandstorm attrition. Okay, I'm gonna send. Let's send No Nose Whipper that way. You can hit the plane of spiders, which is obviously the worst plane. Loot and occupy. Good stuff. Katniss, you're going to come and join us, and then with any luck, we can kind of just uh, bop all of this. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. Okay, what well, I'm actually very interested in. Making good time. Are you? Prince are you? What, how? Ooh, no, Lord I think Altharion's going to kick you, kick you in the unmentionables. But you have taken Coron somehow, which I've never seen before, which is very exciting. Okay, we are going to... Hmm, now let's have a look. So we've got that one we go. We could rush that. It's expensive, but it would let us get that building. I'm tempted to say let's do it. Because I think that's going to be pretty, pretty useful. I'm going to go with this, because that's going to give us more money. It's okay. Malekith's replenishment is going to be arse here. There's not much I can do about that. We're going to go with Slaughter Lord. Who seeks me? Oh, yeah. The portents are good. You're ambushing. I don't need you to do that. Right, if we can take out Clark, uh, sorry, Clarax Spire. I'm wondering if she maybe we could. And I am dusk. Look. Either can unmake you in an instant. 
how much would you like, you know, like the plane of spiders? It could work. It could work. I mean, okay, here's here's my question. We have here's no my cause to convert. No, no, hang on. Here's my question. Right. First off, how do you feel? They've got no diplomatic contact. As long as it stays that way. You have caused untold harm. Don't think you oh, can make up for it. Not that bad. It's generally fine. I'm quite tempted to just like give them a bunch of settlements and see if that'll keep them off my back. The only danger comes from potentially like Marathi deciding to lay into them. The mother of the Druki will hear I mean, your request. As long as we don't get a military or defensive alliance with her, that'll be fine. Hellebron hasn't met them, so that's not going to be a problem. I reckon we can kind of maybe keep them semi-happy? If we could get, like, a defensive alliance with them. If the, if the High Elves then declared war on us, they'd end up at war with them as well. Murderous Lord. It's a ballsy strategy, which is has a incredibly high chance to fuck me quite hard. However, I kind of like the idea of it. I do kind of like the idea of it. Just go in there. Go on. Get some. Get a little, little itty, itty little bit of, of replenishment. Hang on, hang on. Did I give you... I didn't give you Conqueror. What the fuck am I thinking? <sighs> okay. So, the poll for next time is going to be... Do we make friends with the sisters? Or do we just crush them? We're going to kill Solostra, but that's... You know, we're, we're going to deal with Katep first, obviously, once we've beaten him into submission. But we could just... Because I don't want this... This desert, I don't want it. It's shit, right? It's going to be a pain in the ass, basically a nightmare. It, if anything, it's probably going to cost me slaves to keep it, which just seems bad. So I I kind of want to just give it to someone else. But if I give it to the sisters, I could potentially get them on side. The only problem being that, you know, mother and granny don't particularly like them. So they've got a high chance of just going, well, fuck those guys and starting a war with them. However, currently Hellebron doesn't have any diplomatic contact, and Mummy's busy. So I'm tempted, I'm tempted to say let's let's get them on side. But it's up to the poll. Democracy is king. So are we gonna are we gonna try and make friends with their sisters or just wipe them out? That's gonna be the poll for next time. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.